So what is up guys, your boy says here, bringing you guys a video about my Goki Metal Foes deck profile for the March 2018 ban list. So I played this deck uh, for a while. I played it back in when Code of Duelist first came out and I, I thought it was a really cool deck and a really fun idea to play. But now I have thought of a cool idea with the new edition of A Solid Day from Extreme Force. So without further ado, let's get started. It's 40 cards, and I don't play any hand traps because, honestly, I'm waiting for the Kaiba Collection to come out. And honestly, yeah, I could wait for the Kaiba Collection to come out, but, eh, it would probably take me a while to get the cards anyway. So, I just wanted to share my cool ideas in this deck, so let's get started. We play three Rescue Rabbit, uh, three Rescue Rabbits, my bad. Uh, Rescue Rabbit is really good because a lot of these cards are normal monsters, obviously, you can go into... Baguska, Invoker, maybe even uh, do a little Chimera if I have it in this deck. Uh, I don't think I have it in this deck, but you definitely want to play uh, do a little Chimera. Or if you want to, you can play Heavy Metal Foes Electromite. This is supposed to be a fun deck, so you know I didn't want to incorporate any like boring Heavy Metal Foe combos or anything like that. So I play three Rescue Rabbit. The next card I play is three Baboon. Baboon is the best card in this deck. You have a Bakugan plus some Metal Foes. You can do all sorts of combos. Going to Evoker, going to Break Sword, going to anything. Fix your hand. It's just a really good card in general in this deck, and that's why I play it. And you can summon the Gokis from your deck or, you know, Suprex off of Invoker's effect. So it's a really good card. The next card I play is three Suprex. This is basically the second best Goki, Goki in your deck. Because when it's normal summon, you can obviously special summon a Goki monster from your hand, and then it gets to search when it sends the graveyard, like all the other Goki. So it's really good. You want to play it at three. You play two Twist Cobra. This is kind of it's really good, but it's really not good. It's a it's really good when you're going for the OTK, but it doesn't really you know make any combo plays. But you do want to play two because you use one for the combo. And you want to have another one so you can get over some big monsters like maybe like Masterpiece or you may, maybe Crystal Wing, Single Dragon. Something that is just big and you just bring it over it. So that's what you play too. And then you play one Rise Scorpio so you can... It's the last Goki card we do have, the last monster. And Headbat is... It's, it's not good because it doesn't have enough attack and it's not really that good. So that's why you play one Rise Scorpio. And then for the last effect monster, we play Grappler Angler. Now, this is our Soul Day target, and basically it's a tuner and a warrior. So you could spell summon off a of Soul Day, sending your equip card, whatever equip card you want to play. I play Moon Mirror Shield, obviously, uh, spoiler. And so you send the Moon Mirror Shield off of a Soul Day's effect, spell summon this. And then you either have Rise Scorpio or Cobra or Cobra and. Suprex to make either Trishula or a Mega, which is actually pretty insane in this deck. So that's why I played the one Grappler Angler. And then for the Metal Horse cards, we play three Volt Flame, three Gold Driver, three Silvered, and three Stellan. This is basically what you want to play. I don't play Bismuth Gear because you can't special summon it, uh, Pendulum summon it, anyways. So that's why I play these, and they're all searchable. So that is why I play these. Four Metal Force cards. So the last normal monsters I do play is obviously the Cleefort Engine to get outside of Dragon Infinity. Don't need to explain that. And then we play the one Falkalt Cannon, whatever it's called. Uh, it's a low scale that you could search up, uh, search off of Summoner's Art. So it's it's really good for that. That's the only reason I play it. But it is good for when your opponent has a face of card in the field, and during the end phase, you can pop that card, so it's really good for that. So that is the last monster in the deck. I'll go to off to the spells. We play three Summoner's Art, just to search out your Cleef or your Volt Flame, or the Cannon card. It's a really good card. Then we play two Painful Decisions. We don't want to open up multiples, we just want to open up one. It's not bad to open up multiples of these because it, it's really good to search and get the cards in the graveyard for Middle Foes and Mithrilium. But you just don't want to burst with this card, and you can, you draw it consistently anyways with Bob Boom. So it's a really good card. Then we play two rematch. Now I've been on the fence of playing one or two. You definitely need two 
for when you're in the late game or you're on like turn three or four, you need that extra summon. So in case like something happens to your fusion summon or maybe your normal summon, you could just spell summon to his back, make like Mrs. Radiant or something like that, or Rosal Day who didn't make it. So it's really good to play too. I, I think three is way too much and one is just you you you, you waste it and you might need it again. So off to the Metaphose spells, we play the one fusion and the one full Metaphose fusion. Uh, I think these are these are good. I I have been on the fence of playing this sometimes, but you need it for when your opponent might disrupt your play. So you can just like chain this, summon like Alkais and then steal their monster. It's just really good to interrupt your opponent plays. So that is why I play the full Metaphose fusion. Metaphose fusion is obviously a, the best Metaphose fusion. And then for the last spell, we play Moon Mirror Shield just for the Assault Day. It's really good for that. And then for the last two cards, and the only traps you play in this deck is Counter and Metal Foes combination. You don't need multiples of these, I think. Honestly, you could play full Metal Foes Fusion, one of each of all the Metal Foes cards, besides like the bad ones. But yeah, these are they're they're really good. I don't think you need multiples of these. You only need one of these. because uh, you can recycle them off of Mythic Realm. So really good for that. And then for the extra deck, we play three link monsters. We play a solid a, obviously for the combos. You can make Omega Trishula off of the summon of a solid a. You use the effect, you know, go into the, the combos. And you can search a warrior off of this effect, which is actually really good. Then we play one Deco Talker, obviously, to link up with a solid a and Cobra for the combo. I'll show the combo off, because it's not that it's not that hard. Mrs. Radiant, and obviously for uh, the Go Keys, obviously. And this would be uh, a dual little Chimera, but obviously I, I just can't get it. But you can replace one of the Mithrilliums in this deck for a dual little Chimera, because this dual little Chimera, when it's destroyed and sent to Graveyard, you can get a uh, Fire Monster back to the deck. So this you can obviously shuffle this back into the deck and reuse it again. So uh, I do play three, two Mithrilliums since I do not have the Dual Chimera, but if you do have the Dual Little Chimera, you definitely play it. So obviously Mithrilliums is just a really good card. And we play one Oracle to get over cards like Scapegoats to do a lot of damage. Really good card. And then when it's sent to the graveyard, you can obviously pop a card. So it's a really good card for that. And then for your Alkais to interrupt your opponent's play, this is obviously the only reason why you play this card. And then you can link up with it or something like then for our X Seed monsters, we play Stop Dragon Infinity because this is one of the best X Seeds in the game. It steals a monster, negates cards, and it boosts um, equal to its X Seed material. So that is really good. We play one Tornado Dragon just to get rid of back row. Baguska to stall. Invoker to summon your Super X and do all the combo plays with that. One break sword to pop cards on the field with your Baba Boon or something like that. And it's just a really good card. <laughs> just to get rid of stuff. And then we play our two Synchros, Omega and Trishula. So I don't have a side deck. Uh, honestly, you can play Hand Traps, Evenly Matched, Twin Twister, Cosmic, all those other stuff. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll, I'll show you the combo real quick. So let's get into that. All right, these are the four cards you need for the combo. Honestly, you only need these two to get off the Assault Day combo and all that stuff. But basically, you're, you're probably just going to need... Uh, probably these three is the most likely you're going to have. And then maybe if you do draw into this, you can summon this. So let's get started with the combo. You're going to normal summon Baba Boon. You're going to use the effect of Vault Flame after you activate it. You're going to pop this card. And you're going to set the combination... You're going to use the effect of Baba Boon, summoning two of these to the field. And then you're going to use the effect of Baba Boon, obviously. And then you're going to XYZ summon into Invoker. Sorry if I don't have, you know, everything lined up, you know, the extra monster zone. Obviously, this is supposed to be an extra monster zone. But uh, I'm trying to fit into one small space. So do bear that in mind. So we're going to use the effect of the... Invoker, you're going to special summon the Super X to your field. And then you're going to link summon into Osalde. 
So, summon a solid day. Use the effect of a solid day and suprax. Suprax is going to add the twist cobra, and a solid is going to add rice scorpio. So, now you have gold driver in hand, rescue rabbit, rice scorpio, and twist cobra. And then you're going to use the effect of a solid day, sending your moon mirror shield to the graveyard, and you're going to special summon grappler angler underneath the assault day. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put Gold Driver in your other pendulum zone and you're going to special summon uh, Twist Cobra and your Rescue Rabbit. So you're going to have all these on the field. So at least hopefully y'all can see that. So we're going to link summon with these two cards and we're going to make Deco Talker. Now, when the uh, Twist Cobra is linked summoned, you can get a Goki rematch, which you're going to use to make Omega. And then what you're going to use, use your uh, rematch. almost forgot what to say. And then special summon your two Gokis on the field. And then use your two Gokis and Grappler Angler to summon Omega. So now you have an Omega on the field. And then you're going to use the effect of Rescue Rabbit, and you're going to banish it, obviously, and then special summon your two Gold Drivers from your deck. And now you can make either Baguska or uh, Tornado Dragon, but obviously I'm going to make Baguska after I use the effect of Omega. So you're going to use Omega first. Before you go into Bagus, because obviously it's going to negate the effect of Omega. And you're going to banish it as well to take a card from your opponent's hand. So obviously, that was a lot of steps. So hopefully y'all saw all of that. And you're going to end on, you're going to end off with Gold, Vault Flame, a set combination, uh, Baguska, and Decode. And then a Rye Scorpio in hand. So... You could obviously pop, you know, the go driver and then get like a counter as well. So that is the combo, guys. Let me know what you guys think, and I'm out.